Hello dear friends, <laughs> it must be too much wind. Let me see my outfit of the day. Okay, I'm so happy, so happy. Okay, hello dear friends, good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon and uh, it makes me so happy so happy to get out it's been so long time i have always stayed inside and today this afternoon i have uh, some extra time a couple of hours and also the museum open until eight o'clock so Thursday is uh, museum late night. I, it makes me so happy to to get out. So good, so good. So I came to San Francisco. This is the city hall, and uh, oh look at this beautiful doom domo. Okay, let's walk. Go to. The back there is a, a little garden uh, see if we can see something there okay oh so good we are going to museum <laughs> so good I remember the war memorial of San Francisco. I remember there used to be a lot of people uh, sitting there, having lunch there. I think you cannot hear me because of the wind. This way might be a little bit better. When I am against the wind, you cannot hear me. But the architecture design is so classy. Don't you feel so beautiful?
Okay, hello dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So here I am in San Francisco Asian Art Museum. There are some modern art museum exhibition, and、uh, for some reason I always come to this、uh, more traditional part. So just、uh, as I pass by, I'm seeing this beautiful, beautiful, very high quality exhibition. It reminds me of one question I have seen one friend unasked: Why all the nose? Is getting damaged. So let's take a look at this one. The nose is damaged. But、uh, if you look closer, the finger also. Now let's take a look at.、Uh, Another one, and this one. Oh, lucky! This one nose is good. And look at this one. The nose is damaged, and the finger also. Now we take a look at this one. The nose. Is damaged, and also the arm. This is a, such a typical、uh, body shape. I think、uh, nowadays this kind of body shape is uh, being um, appreciated again. And also, let's see the side. The two noses on the side. Is protected. So here is my my guess, and also I think I have heard other people talking about it. The nose is the most prominent part of、uh, of this、uh, sculpture. So. It is more fragile, more prominent than other parts. The face is relatively flat, and the nose coming out. So it is more prone, prone to be damaged. This is the majority of the reason, and those. Uh, those uh, antiques and the relics, when they first collected, when they were first collected, they were not in the museum. They were in some warehouse, some were in the market, and just imagine a market, a bazaar, a bazaar. With、uh, all the Buddhist sculptures, with uh, with uh, pot and pans, with、uh, a lot of things, so it's very crowded. It's easy to be touched, and、uh, then the nose becomes one of the most、uh, fragile part and got damaged. I think this is the reason. I also heard. Other people say it's because of、uh, the fear of the Buddhist power or the holy power, so they damage the nose, so that、uh, it's a way of deface. Whatever way it is, this is、uh, what we are getting at this moment. What we are seeing at this moment. 
the only thing we can do is to take care of it as much as we can. And the old time, they were not in a glass case. It is nowadays we have, uh, they are so long time ago, so we can take care of it and put into a glass case. They were not like this. Earth goddess, lotus, lotus leaf, earth goddess, Baba. Very interesting. This is a, this is a very very well protected piece. And one of the reasons it is so well protected is because it's a bronze or copper. This very much look like ancient China, the acupuncture, <laughs> acupuncture, um, uh, the point, the body point. We have different body points. That is more crucial. And if you see the old Chinese medicine book, medi, uh, Chinese medicine book, you will find those kind of pictures. These are all from uh, South India, uh, South South Asia, South uh, Southwest. South Asia. I remember uh, when I lived in India. Do you know that I have been living in India for three months, something like it? And uh, there was one time my husband worked there at that time, and uh, so I had time. He had to work and uh, I could travel by myself. So I went to Kadrao, Varanasi, Kadrao. <laughs> that is quite, that's uh, the capital of Kama Sutra by myself. Quite an experience. And uh, Something not so holly is that uh, uh, I have a, a habit of eating banana, and that was particularly the case because uh, you go to a new place, and um, in India the the water and everything you are not very sure about the food, so I eat uh, banana <laughs> and uh, I think uh, in uh, in India I have uh, I have uh, consolidated my habit of eating banana <laughs> and uh, for some reason the Indian banana is very small it's not the huge banana like uh, well, it's not a huge banana like American banana, what we are eating in the market now. Look at this uh, shahiyot. So, it's very hard for me to breathe. Okay, so I have been inside for so long time, 
I mean not seeing the outside world and just coming out to see something new, something uh, something beautiful, classic, and something that has been done with care and, uh, and attention. It is very, very eye-opening and a pleasant cup with calligraphy script. Oh my, look at this. This cup has a calligraphy script on it. It's a teeny tiny little cup. This is a very much uh, an Arabic, right? Wow. Islam or oh, Arabic. And uh, I think this kind of shape it's very much like uh, in in Xinjiang in uh, in uh, Silk Road have uh, a lot of this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, terracotta or or uh, antiques. They are the imitation of leather bag. It is called Pi Nang Hu, if I am right. Let me see. Persian ceramic. Water ski, yes. Two handle ways in shape of a water ski. So they use uh, uh, leather, uh, lamb skin or animal skin to sew it together to make into uh, a bag like our thought bag. So you can see all these shapes has a, a very rounded shape. It actually comes from uh, that inspiration, the leather bag. Don't you think it looks like a leather bag containing water? And this is made of, uh, of uh, terracotta and make uh, an imitation of uh, that particular very usable stuff. That's very interesting also. Unfortunately, I cannot read it. Inscription, bow with Arabic inscription. So this might be something like law or something. We will go to a Chinese uh, art and Chinese thing, and we can explain a little bit. This shape looks very much like uh, Middle Eastern and uh, and uh, North Africa, the the Arabic world. Oh, this looks. Their, um, their reliefs, the leaf shape, and the lines, they are beautiful. It's like, um, like Turkish, if you go to Turkey, I went to Turkey, I saw these this bowls, still you can find those bowls. And um, it's like Alada, <laughs> Alada. The Disney movie, Alada. Look at this inscription. Mihab shaped panel. How much work put into it. And this blue is such a unique blue. Blue is a very, very unique color. And uh, Oh, look at this. It is good to, to 
take it out to see something. This is a head protection to see something new, to see something different. And this is portrait of Maharani behind us of a pet. But this is a beautiful, beautiful painting. Ibasus. This reminds me of uh, the old style pencil drawing, pencil artwork. I love those very detailed pencil work very much. Very refined drawing and painting. Let's go.